Okay, would everyone please turn off all cell phones and electronic devices or at least silence them? And please rise for a moment of silence and pledge of allegiance.
ambassador, you name it, that, that was you. And uh, I, I certainly look up for, to you for what, uh, and you kept us calm. You really did over the years. Because we, you know, I, I get a little excitable, and then Eddie Diana gets a little no. excitable. Yeah. Jimmy DeSalvo, I don't know about so much. He's, he's, you're medium, right? But, uh, but everything, I mean, things would have happened. Some of these projects in Orange County, McKesson, um, Matrix, you know, Airsource Bergen, Legoland, CNS Wholesalers, a lot of projects with high paying or good paying jobs, some high paying jobs, um, and bring a lot of tax dollars to the county of Orange. Um, I can't thank you enough. So, without further ado, I'll present you with a certificate from the legislature presented to Robert Armistead on 15 years of service to the Orange County Industrial Deve Development Agency for outstanding community service and dedicated individual efforts. Given the sixth day of December, L. Steve Gresham, Chair of the Legislature. Thanks, Steve. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, the Legislature. I think a lot of the, my credit really, really goes to the staff, the board. I had a great board all those years, uh, Steve. And Jim, Jim's still here at Salo, but uh, we have a lot of great memories. We've done a lot of great work. The professional staff, Lori, Betty, uh, done a great job. And of course, you're in great hands with our chairwoman, Mary Ellen Murkowski. Uh, I know she's doing a great job. And uh, the team, I miss you all. You know that I'm always there if you need me for anything as well. I have to thank my wife and my family for putting up with me for all these years with all the boards that I've been on. and. Uh, I thank you for being here this morning as well. But again, Steve, it was a pleasure. And thank, and again, thanks to all the legislators here. I know many of you work with many of you. Introduce you. Okay, this is my wife, Susan, who is a saint. <laughs> this is my oldest grandson, Ethan, my oldest son, Rob, my second oldest grandson, Wiley, my second oldest son, Kane, and my good brother, Kevin, who he and I run uh, Armistead Mechanical. And, uh, and AMI services. You might see our trucks around uh, all over the county, all over the, uh, the metro area. So, uh, but again, yeah, this is a great thrill, Steve, and uh, you know I'll be there for you guys. So, thanks, Steve. Thank you very much. Um, can I mention the Heritage Trail? Million dollars for the Heritage Trail. That Heritage Trail might not be happening today, but we're not for that million dollar project expenditure from the IPA. And, and Bob, if you don't know, he and Sue have a place in Florida, and finally they get to use it. I know Sue was pushing you to get out here. He's a workaholic, but you both deserve a lot of rest, because Sue's been there right with you with all your attempts. She's back Saturn, she went months for me right now. <laughs> God bless her, she deserves it though, so do you. But thank you again, I wish you the best, and great, thanks. great holiday season. Thanks. Thank you. Next up, I'd like to invite Sheriff Carl DeVoice up, as well as uh, Public Safety Chairman Kevin Hines to recognize Patrick White for his heroism. Chief Deputy Barry, anybody else from the Sheriff's Office? Bring them all up. Right. We'll bring them up for a picture afterwards. Oh, yeah, come on up, come on up. You want to tell us a little bit what Patrick did? Dennis is the one that wrote, wrote the oh, okay. Chief Barry. He's got the letter. Oh, for a minute. Right. My glasses. You have the letter, Steve? Do we have the letter? We have a certificate. Okay, you can get a synopsis of what, of what you did. You know, we can get a little bit of a December 4, 2018, Dr. 11.30, Dr. Patrick White was off duty working a secondary job as a security officer for Pelosi's located at Harriman Drive in the Village of Goshen. 
Debbie Wright was advised by school staff of a student that had left the building and was currently on the overpass of State 17 at South Street in the village of Goshen, where she was contemplating jumping off the bridge and into traffic. Debbie Wright responded to the scene and discovered that the scene was secured by multiple police agencies. Upon the arrival of school staff and counselors, Deputy Wright returned to his post. Police and school staff on scene were unable to establish a rapport with the student, and White was subsequently, subsequently excuse me, requested to return to the scene as the student wanted to speak directly to him based on an established report from a previous incident. Deputy White quickly established a line of communication and was able to convince the student to end her thoughts of doing harm to herself. The student returned to the safe side of the bridge and was taken for further evaluation. The swift response, calm, and professional demeanor displayed by White were essential to the positive outcome of this incident. Deputy White's ability to establish a rapport with the student brought the incident to a safe conclusion and prevented what could have been a very tragic event. Um, you know, covering five or six different schools now, uh, you know, more coming online. 
and it just shows you now, um, Patrick, you're uh, retired NYPD? Patrick's retired NYPD. And, you know, I like to, re I, I really like the, uh, the NYPD, New York State Police, any law enforcement, uh, after they're retired, there's not a lot they haven't seen. And so, you know, uh, you know, uh, Patrick's not a newbie, he's been out there. Um, and again, um, in the uh, finest traditions of the Orange County Sheriff's Office, Patrick performed, um, I would hope like any other uh, deputy or their police officer would, but he really made a difference. And uh, I said that school safety program is working already. Thank you very much, Patrick. Congratulations.
Badu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisic? Wuhan? Menuda, O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherman, Tui, Vera, Fresh, 18 eyes. Okay, number 10. Legislator Benton, resolution amending resolution number 319 of 2018, providing for the levy of a tax against properties, pursuant to sections 520 and 551 of the Real Property Tax Law and Article 25AA, section 305 of the Agriculture and Markets Law. Thank you. Discussion? Local. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisic? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tui? Vera? Fresh? 18 eyes. Okay, number 11. Legislators Fagione, Amo, Vera, Cheney, Benelli, Hines, Pulisic, Paduk, Sassy. Resolution calling for New York State legislative action to classify as controlled substances certain fentanyl analogs that are responsible for opioid overdose deaths. Legislator Fagione, all Republicans. Chairman, would you add all Republican legislators? Certainly. Independents, all Democrats as well. Okay, yes, you want to speak? Legislator Amo? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think we should recognize uh, Legislator Kathy Spinetti. I know she and I have been working with NYSAC to make sure this legis this piece of legis resolution we're, we're voting on today will be on the Public Health and Mental Health Committee of NYSAC in February, actually January 28th. And at which point, for anyone who does know that, if when it passes there, it will pass the state NYSAC Resolution Committee, and then at which point Ms. NYSAC will get its marching orders to lobby that with the legislature and the governor's office. So I think that's going to move it. So I, I thank you. I think we'll be part of this process with us. I thank both of you for doing that. And I'm going to be sending out a letter that I was directed to, but I'd be happy to do it to all the upstate counties um, to, in this regard with this resolution, encouraging them to do the same. So I'm sure we want to hear more discussion on this. I thank Legislator Sassy. That was a great, uh, great press conference, and it's going to get the word out more. But Thank you, Mr. Chairman, real brief. Uh, I'd like to thank all of my fellow legislators for their support and for uh, Legislator Amon's agenda for going forward with this as well. So I know that we have tremendous support here today and looking out in the audience, I see that Mr. Bob Fagan is still here. Bob, this is for Billy and all those that have lost their lives. Thank you. And I just have to say, Bob's been a friend of mine for a number of years and, and he spoke at the, one of Rob's committee meetings and he, he texted me the next day and he said that I could go off the rails. And I said, absolutely not. I mean, people, we need to hear what he said at that meeting. And, you know, he was very emotional. And, uh, you know, we hear enough prepared speeches. We need to hear an actual experience of a family that was affected directly by this. And I thank Bob. Bob. It took a lot of courage to go up at that table, which he didn't know he was going to be going up to the head of that table. And, and he really spoke about his experience. And we're going we're to carry through on that, that experience and so many others. Thank you, Bob. Okay, roll call. Duke? Yes. Emo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Yes. Hines? Pulisic? Luhan? Aye. Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tui? Vera? Gresham? 18 eyes. Okay, number 12. Legislator Fagione. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature establishing and reporting the standard workday for elected officials to the New York State and local employees' retirement system. Thank you. Discussion? Roll call. Padu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisic? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tui? Vera? Brescia? 18 eyes. Okay, number 13. Legislator Spagione, Amo, Bureau, Cheney, Benelli, Hines, Pulisic, Paduk, Sassy. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to apply for, accept, and appropriate funds from New York State Department of Transportation pursuant to Section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and Section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Okay, good. Well, second. John Bureau's on it. Okay, good. Discussion? Yes, Kathy's beginning to add it. No problem. Okay, roll call. Padu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? 
Kosek, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Stiganda, Sutherland, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes. And number 14. Legislative O'Donnell and Minuta. Resolution approving the release of the county's interest in and to a certain deed sale parcel to the previous owner of record, pursuant to section 5, paragraph B1 of local law number 2 of 2010. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Oh, uh, Sutherland added, or you want to speak? Sutherland added. Okay. Roll call. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fedman? Yes. Hall? Discussion? Roll call. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yep. Benton? 
Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Horsek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Chewy, Bureau, Brescia. 18 ayes. And number 21. Legislators Tortella and Menuda. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Youth Bureau to accept additional funding from the New York State Office of Children and Family Services pursuant to section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Sassy added, Stiganga, Tui, and uh, Kevin Daring Luan, and Joel Sierra, and Sutherland. Roll call. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tui? Bureau? Brescia? 18 ayes. Okay, number 22. Legislative Tartel and Sassy. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Youth Bureau to accept additional funding from the New York State Office of Children and Family Services. Pursuant to section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion. Tui added, Luhan added, Maduk, Sierra, Stiganga. <coughs> Didn't miss anybody, I don't think. Okay, roll call. Maduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes. Okay, number 23. Legislators Ruskevich, Totel, and Cheney. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify associate clerk to secretary and administrative assistant two at the Orange County Department of Consumer Affairs pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Padu, yes. Amo, yes. Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. And no speakers? Okay, I'd like to wish everyone a happy, healthy, prosperous holiday season and new year, uh, as well as Majority Leader Benelli, uh, Legislator Tartel, and Legislator Nagnostakis, who had to leave unexpectedly. Hope he's feeling better. Happy holidays, folks. We're motion to adjourn.